This show contains features that may offend some viewers. Viewers discretion is advised. Well, as you can see, I was playing Grand Theft Auto 4 Lost and Damned. As you can see, I showed you me playing it, my reactions, and the game itself on the mission I was doing uh, when I was murdering those bikers, the enemies. Now, there's a topic today that I'm trying to present that's pretty weird that I've been hearing for the past weeks or so. 
And in fact, a person suggested this, a YouTuber named Jonathan Lamprey. He wanted me to bring up a subject for real talk about people who blame video games these days for the crime rate going up in the city these days where these video games in their eyes think and assuming that that is what making people steal cars, making people kill people, making people rob people, da 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 fucking da da. Now as you can see in these games, like Grand Theft Auto was the, the number one example. Grand Theft Auto is in fact a game that is about stealing, having a lot of money from drug dealing, killing, and all that sort of stuff, and how you're stealing cars and all that stuff. Yes, that is the example that it shows, but you can see me right now, the host of Real Talk, CEO of Grace One Productions. I was just playing that video game. Do you see me going out there and killing people and stuff like that? No, of course not. The main the point in the matter is, is that you can't just go and assume stuff like that. When you think that the video game is going to influence somebody to hurt somebody. Now don't get me wrong, maybe for some odd people, maybe this has influenced them. But it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean that Grand Theft Auto Vice City, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, or Grand Theft Auto uh, 4, Grand Theft Auto 4 Lost and Damned, Grand Theft Auto 4 Battle of Gay Tony, or the final one, Grand Theft Auto 5, the new one came out September 14th. It just doesn't mean that those games influence you to kill somebody, or hurt somebody, or rob somebody. Okay? All that stuff happens in a totally different matter, but not for Grand Theft Auto. If for some people, if it has influenced them to hurt somebody, well then you people got problems. But the point in the matter is, is a lot of people are assuming, oh, the nicest people in the world who play Grand Theft Auto are going to end up hurting people. I play, honestly, I'm going to tell you all the truth. I've played Grand Theft Auto my whole life, and I'll tell you something right now. I myself have never killed a person, have never stolen anything, have never ever attempted to steal anything or hurt somebody. I'm telling you that. Because, to me, Grand Theft Auto is just playing for my fun and enjoyment. Because I like playing the game Grand Theft Auto, or any other killing game, Saint Row, all that stuff. Doesn't make me a killer, does it? Doesn't make me a murderer, or anybody else in that matter who plays it a murderer. It's just what people enjoy. If people, it's just like if you're watching a scary movie. Some people love the scary movies because it's blood and guts in it, and there's killing. But it doesn't make them sick in the head and make them want to do the same thing to somebody. You see, you have to think before you assume and say shit to people. Because you don't know if that person's thinking the same thing either. You know, if, you see, here's the thing. If somebody has been thinking about killing somebody or hurting somebody from movies or games like that, then that is their own problem. You see, you can't just assume it unless you know for sure. Not unless your kid or a friend of yours comes up to you and says, Oh, I really want to kill somebody now because I just played or watched this movie. Or game. You see, if someone comes up to you and says that, then that's when the line has been crossed. Because that's when the game had the worst influence on that one person. But if somebody is still having a job and having a family and being a good citizen to the world, then there's not a problem with playing Grand Theft Auto or any other violent game in that matter. Okay, yes, you know, if you don't want your young kid or young s sibling to play Grand Theft Auto because it does say radar on the case, then don't let them play it because of the naked scenes and stuff in it. Okay, wait until they're a little bit older. That's how you do it and shit like that. Because there's some people out there, yes, that are sick in the head. Okay, I'll understand that right then and there. But, people, just remember, you know that there's video games out there that are going to be harsh. You know there's going to be video games out there that are not always going to be the most appropriate. You need to realize that.
not all video games out there are going to be appropriate. So I'm saying, people, is that you need to stop assuming and blaming video games for problems in the world. People who grew up, people who chose to do that, that was their option. Not the video game, okay? That was their own option to do it themselves. Okay? So, and next time when a lot of you think video games are to blame for this shit, think about this. If you want to throw a pencil across the room, that is your option. If you want to go and sit down and watch TV, that is your option. If you want to go down and eat something at a fast food court, or a nice luxury dinner court, or your own food at home, that is your own choice. Does that, okay, eating food, does that influence you off a Food Network TV to go out and eat something? No. Does it influence you to watch a, uh, a, a show based on cartoons and you see a spaceship and how cool they are? Does it influence you to try and buy a fucking spaceship and go in it? No. That's what I'm trying to say. People think influences are very, very common when it comes to valuables. No, it's not to valuables, it comes to people with influences. Because the, words of, the word of mouth is constantly the most number one priority demanded thing in a person's life. So, people, if you guys really, really listen to this topic today, please watch again or get somebody else to watch. Please subscribe and comment on this video and tell me what you think of it. Alright? And please follow me on Twitter at AustinBullockGP. If you want to email me, you can email me at CEOGPBES Austin at CyberServices.com. Okay? Anyways, guys, this was Real Talk. Now we have to go. Have a good day. Bye. It was my life, my time, my rights, my rhymes, my crime, my struggle, hustle, sweat, and my blood, too. I'm ready to smell fear. I smell a lot. My competitors flex here. They smelled I was hot. I want it all.